Hi, welcome back to the channel. David here, Royal Navy Yacht Master. Thanks for tuning in. So today's subject is how to coil a rope. Sounds as though it should be so simple, doesn't it? Um, but let me tell you, over the years, I've seen total disasters that if you ever needed a rope in a hurry, uh, in an emergency, you'd never be able to get it undone. And even ropes that look amazingly beautifully coiled. I went in the rope locker on a racing sailboat that I crew on, super hot boat, hot racing sailors that know what they're doing. I picked a rope lo uh, out of the locker that was beautifully coiled and finished. Could I figure out how to undo it? No, it was a total mystery. It was some rock climbing technique that I've never seen before. And I've been doing this a while. So let me show you my favorite technique. A Couple of things to keep in mind. Whenever you're out on your boat, power or sail, I recommend you have a good solid rope at least 30 or 40 feet long, kind of coiled perfectly, easily accessible, in case you ever need a tow. If you lose your engines, if you run out of fuel, God forbid you stick it on a sandbar when the tide is falling, you need a rope quickly and you need to hail a passing boat and say, give me a tow. And you need to be able to throw the rope to them. I'll talk a little bit about throwing ropes uh, at the end of the segment, okay? So let's talk about how we coil it. I always like to have a bowline loop, Again, if I need a tow or something, makes it easy for the other people. Hook it on a cleat, we're done. Um, especially if they don't know what they're doing, right? Some boat may come to help you. Someone's up on the, on the bow of the boat. They want to help you, but they really don't know what they're doing. All you have to say is, put that loop on your cleat. Boom, that's it. And then you do the rest with your rope if you need a, need a, uh, a tow, okay? So, let's talk about the coil. I always have the throwing end, the bowling end here. And then I take a full stretch of my arms. And as it comes up, I just kind of roll the rope over. Look, there's a twist in there. I roll it into my hand, full stretch, roll it over, full stretch, roll it over, and so on. It's okay, it's only a 150 foot long rope. This is only gonna take 10 minutes. I'm joking. Get my workout in for the day as well. All right, here comes the end. So. How do we finish this? It's kind of a long tail end, but it, it, it actually this will work. We see if I go one more. Yeah, I'm gonna stay long. So here's what you need to do. Do a couple of coils. You definitely need one. And as I come around for my second coil, look, I'm going upwards. This is the first coil. I'm not going downwards. I'm crossing the first coil. Whoops, and I'm going up. And again, it's a big old lump of rope, so you can rest it against your body, whatever you do. Keep it all tight. That's two. And I always say, three looks pretty. And I think we'll finish this one at three because I'm running out of room here. You can do four or five, that's fine. But make sure you come up. Make sure you've got at least two turns. And then let me show you how you finish it. Create an eye, put it through the gap, Pull it through. Okay, you see your eye here. And then you come through here. Excuse the knot. This is a charter boat rope. It's a bit frayed, so there's a knot in the end of it. Okay, and then you pull it tight. Now, look at that. It's pretty. It shows you know what you're doing. And the way you would stow it, and I'm, I wouldn't stow it here on the bow of the boat in case it fell off, but just for demonstration purposes, we can then hang it here with a simple clove hitch. Okay. And there it is. It looks very proper. It's, it's ready to go. And let's see what happens if we need it in a hurry, right? So if I need it in a hurry, if I need a tow, the thing people struggle with is preparing a rope for throwing, all right? You've seen it all on YouTube. People try and toss a little bit of rope in both hands and hope it will go. It won't. You have to take a moment to prepare the rope for throwing. And so look, here's my rope. Here's my bowline. Watch this. Boom. Okay, so I can throw that rope if I needed a tow. Don't do this, this is the YouTube technique. Here's a spare rope. You see people trying to throw this to the other boat and they go. 
but it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so hope that's helpful. Thanks again for tuning in. Check me out, royalnavyyachtmaster.com. Like and subscribe.